Yeah. So, what are some of the excuses that we use to call our employers and tell them we're going to be late? Hmm? Why do people call and say, I'm going to be late because I have diarrhea? <laughs> it's like, why say you're going to have diarrhea? Just say, I'm running behind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just say, just say I'm running behind. That's all. <laughs> so, um, sometimes people ask stupid questions. I can't even go out to the park and take my dog for a walk without people asking me stupid questions. Yeah, I'm walking my dog and this woman says, are you this dog's mother? <laughs> I'm like, does a dog look like me? <laughs> Do I have four legs? <laughs> yeah. So I was at a restaurant, I was at a restaurant last week, and I'm sitting there waiting for my food, and uh, the guy and his wife that was sitting near me puts his hand up and he says, waiter, waiter. So the waiter comes to him and says, yes, can I help you? And he says, I found a hair in my salad. <laughs> So, uh, and, and uh, the waiter apologizes, and, 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 and uh, the customer says, the problem with a salad needs a dressing. <laughs> so... Uh, I went to a club to shoot some pool with my friend, and um, I uh, this guy comes in, and he asks this other guy, "Is this the uh, nostalgia club?" <laughs> <laughs> nostalgia club. And uh, I heard the guy tell him, "Well, if if this is a nostalgia club, it sure isn't what it used to be." <laughs> Nostalgia Club. <laughs> yeah, so uh, some of the damnest thing happen in restaurants sometimes if you're eavesdropping. <laughs> So uh, I uh, I got the attention of the waitress, and she came over here. She was very friendly when I first walked in, <laughs> and then uh, I said to her, "Hey, look, uh, we, we we have to walk. We have to talk about the menu, please." <laughs> She leaned over, she leaned over and she says, it's none of your business about the men I please. <laughs> what the hell is her problem? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
I was at church last Sunday, and I went early because I wanted to donate blood. They were going to have the blood donation van outside. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I'm always suspicious with churches. I don't like uh, doing tithes. I don't like giving money to my church. <laughs> and the pastor called me at a bad time because I didn't really want to donate any blood either. <laughs> but I did. So he pulls me aside and he says, look, we're looking to, uh, we're looking for an organ donor. <laughs> I said, damn, I just gave my blood. Now you want my organs? <laughs> and um, he looked at me. I was a little, I was a little bit upset. I was a little bit upset and he leaned over and he says, no, no, we're looking for a piano player, but we have to get an organ. <laughs> I know, I just gave you some blood. Now you want my organs. That's what I thought. Okay, I don't play the organs. <laughs> So in America, we tend to be a little bit spoiled. We have millions of restaurants, uh, tons of choices of movies to watch, all kinds of foods that we can choose from. But, you know, sometimes when you go on a flight, they ask you, would you like to have dinner? <laughs> And you tend to forget that you're not at a restaurant. <laughs> no, we're not. Like uh, my last flight, I went back home to see my family. And uh, the flight attendant says, excuse me, ma'am, would you like to eat something? <laughs> I said, yeah, um, what are my choices on the menu? <laughs> she said, there's no menu, just give me a freaking yes or no. 